Darkness has to bow Confusion has its final hour Well, good morning, and I have to tell you today is a big coffee cup day because I was up a little too late last night watching the Olympics. You know, and it struck me again how the difference between going home with gold, going home with nothing, being called the winner or being called the loser, you know, sometimes it comes down to a hundredth of a second, or sometimes it comes down to who got injured or, or who showed up this year. You know, so much of that marking of the winner or the loser is totally beyond the control of the athlete. Now, it is good and necessary to measure ourselves, to measure ourselves against some standard or the performance of other people. But sometimes, when we see how far we fall short, when we feel like we don't measure up, when we feel like a failure or a loser, when measuring ourselves to the standard results in the paralysis of guilt and shame, then it has the exact opposite effect. It paralyzes us and actually keeps us from accomplishing the good that we could do, the improvements we could make. And then we end up doing nothing instead of the something we could have done. We could have done something that was not perfect, but would have been a real change. This is true for our professional lives. This is true for our relational lives. This is true for our moral lives. This is true for our spiritual lives. Well, this morning I ran into a really interesting translation of a verse in Colossians chapter 2. And then I looked at all the ways that verse, verse 14 of chapter 2 of Colossians, could be translated in order to bring out all the full richness of what Paul was trying to say to us. So I want you to think about a mess you are looking at in your own life, where you feel like a failure, where you feel unredeemable, and then listen to the full richness of this truth. Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, finished the work God gave him to do, having wiped out, wiped away, canceled, destroyed, erased the requirements the written code, the certificate of debt, the record, our debt that was against us, which was contrary to us, which opposed us, which was hostile to us with its legal demands. He took it away. He took it out of the way. He set it aside. He has destroyed it, nailing it to the cross. If you have surrendered your life to Jesus, Jesus has already done this, which means by the one standard that matters most, that you already measure up by the only measure that matters. Let's pray. God, as we prepare to go out into this new day, let us put on this true identity that we've been set free to begin again And that we can accomplish whatever it is you have called us to accomplish. Give us strength and encouragement and passion to begin again with you this day. We commit it to you. In the holy, holy name of Jesus. Amen.